Today we're installing the Majax Ultimate Plus light kit designed for the EasyGo S4. Included with the kit are new headlights, tail lights, a brake switch, your harness, your indicator harness, USB port with harness, a battery hookup harness, a 12 to 48 volt converter, your indicator cover, your column cover, a horn, and a new indicator. Before we begin, I want to remind you to set the cart into tow mode, turn the key switch off, and engage the parking brake. Now let's get started. Before we run our new light kit harness, I'm going to go over some of the connections for you. Up at the very front of the harness, you'll notice a three pin red and three pin white connector with female bullet connectors attached. These go to your headlights. Red goes to the passenger side. Right off of that, you'll notice a purple and black female spade connector. This goes to your horn. Down a little further, you'll notice a male 12-pin connector. This goes to your relay harness. Next, you'll notice a red, black, and blue wire. The blue wire will go to the purple wire on the relay harness. The black and red are not used. Then you'll see a fuse with a two-pin connector. This goes to your USB port harness and USB. Towards the center of the harness, you'll notice a red, black, and yellow wire. The red and yellow wires go to your brake switch. The black is not used. Next, you'll see a two-pin connection. This is for your battery hookups. And then finally, you'll see two more three-pin connections. One red, one white. This is for your tail lights. Passenger side has the red connector. The best way to run your harness is on the driver's side, starting with the tail light connections. You're going to feed it through the channels located in the frame and up into the battery well here. You're also going to bring your battery two pin connector with you. And you want to stop here for your brake switch hookup. Leave that hanging for now. We're going to secure the harness with zip ties later. We're going to install our headlight by inserting it into the front cowl at the four holes indented here. You'll notice the four smaller barbs on the back side of the light here, 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 and over on the side. When we push the light through, we're going to take the included barbed rings and push them on the back side to secure the light to the cowl. When you put the rings on, you want to make sure that the barbs face away from the light so that they grab onto the pins. We're going to use a socket to help push the ring onto the pin. You'll also notice here the three pin connector for the passenger side is red. When you put the light in, the turn signal will be towards the inside of the cowl. Using the barbed rings, we're going to secure the light to the cowl and then repeat this on the other side. Now we're gonna connect our headlight to our harness. You'll find the three pin red connector on the harness and connect it to the red connector from the light. You'll also notice the bullet connectors here. You're gonna plug the female bullet connectors from the harness to the male bullet connectors on the light. Just match the colors up, gray to gray and red to red. The gray and red female from the light will not be used. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. To connect our horn, we're going to locate the purple and black wire at the front of the cart. The orientation for these does not matter. You'll just find the two spades on the back side of the horn and connect the two. Then we're going to use a self-tapping screw and find a hard flat surface that's out of the way to mount our horn. Now we're going to attach our brake switch using the supplied U-bolts to the channel here at the front frame on the driver's side in the front tire well. You're going to take the U-bolts and wrap them around the back side of the channel here and into the front of the brake switch. You'll notice on the brake switch there's a 90 degree turn here. The short end will go to the front of the cart. The brake switch button will also point down to the ground. We're going to just hand tighten the U-bolts for now. The brake switch button should sit on the brake pedal lever, not on the park brake lever. 
So the brake switch bracket has slotted holes so that we can slide the bracket over so that our button sits on the brake pedal like that. The other thing you wanna do is engage the brake switch. So you're gonna slide the bracket down until you hear the click of the brake switch. And then you're gonna tighten your hardware. So now when you engage the brake pedal, the lever will drop, thus making the brake lights come on. Once you're happy with the location and it's clicking properly, you can tighten your hardware. Now we'll come back later after we hook our light kit up to the battery pack and double check to make sure that our brake lights are coming on at the right time. If not, we'll just loosen up our U-bolts and make any adjustments needed. Last thing is we'll attach the male and female bullet connectors from the brake switch to the brake wires on our light kit harness. The black spade connector is not used. We'll secure these wires later. Before we attach our relay harness, I want to go through the connections for you. You'll notice two 12-pin connectors on each side. The 12-pin connector that's over here by itself will go to the new light kit harness. The 12-pin on the opposite side will go to your indicator. You'll also notice you have a new hazard switch here. You'll also notice there's two female bullet connectors and a male bullet connector here. This is for the fog lights or LED light bars on the auxiliary switch for your indicator. And you'll also see a purple wire. This wire will attach to your new light kit harness. Now we're gonna attach the 12 pin from our relay harness to the 12 pin of the main harness. And then feed the rest of the harness up into the dash. Before we install the turn signal indicator, I wanna go over some of the functions. You'll notice on the outside here, we have our horn button. Up and down on the lever works the turn signals. Here on the very outside, the first switch here turns on your daytime run lights. The second will turn on the daytime run lights plus your front headlights. If you pull the lever back towards you till it clicks, you now have high beams. To turn those off, you just simply click it again. You also notice the inside ring here has two additional light settings. This feature is for fog lights or small light bars. This will help keep your dash panel clear of extra switches. Moving to the turn signal assembly, we're gonna attach it to the column about three inches down from our hub. This will give us enough harness to go under the cup holders and into the front dash panel. Once all four screws are tightened, you can snap on the cover to the back of the turn signal assembly. Last thing we're gonna do is run the harness into our column cover. You'll notice it has a channel here on the back side and then attach it to our column. You'll notice we removed our steering wheel. You do not have to do this, that's for video purposes only. What we're gonna do is take out our cup holder. There's three tabs that hold the cup holder in. We're gonna take a small flathead screwdriver, pop these loose and pull the cup holder out. Now we're gonna use a cutting tool. We're gonna cut a hole that's big enough for our 12 pin connector coming from our turn signal indicator in the bottom side of our cup holder panel. You wanna keep in mind, you gotta put your cup holders back in, so we wanna be just to the side of the cup holders and it has to be as big as the 12 pin connector here. We're gonna use our safety glasses and a cutting tool and cut our hole out. Now you're gonna pull the rest of your harness, including the switch, the 12 pin connector, and the USB plug-in up into the cup holder panel. We're gonna go ahead and plug in our 12 pin to the 12 pin on our indicator. Now we're gonna take off our hazard switch from our harness. Note that the black wire is behind the LED, the blue is on the center, and the yellow is on the top side. We're gonna disconnect this for now so that we can install our switch to our dash. Now we're gonna attach the purple wire with the male spade connector to the blue wire here. The other two wires are not used. Now we're gonna install our hazard switch. First thing you're gonna do is find the preferred location for your switch. We're gonna install it on the side over here. 
we're going to use a 15 30 seconds or a 7 16 drill bit and drill the hole out. Just keep in mind that there's nothing on the back side of the surface you're drilling into. Make sure you wear safety glasses. Now we're going to secure the switch with the nut on the back side of the switch and then reattach our black, yellow, and blue wires from the harness. And remember, black goes on the bottom, blue goes in the middle, and yellow goes on the top spade. To install the USB, you have two options. You can use a one and an eighth inch paddle or drill bit and drill out your hole, or you can remove the nut from the back side of the USB and mark the inside with a marking pin at your desired location and then cut it out with a cutting tool. The other thing you want to look for is on the back side of the USB, there's a positive and a negative symbol. The positive red wire will go to the positive. The black negative wire will go to the negative side. We're going to disconnect these two. We're going to take the nut off of our USB and mark out the inside of the nut. Again, make sure you're wearing your safety glasses. We're going to cut out to the middle of our line. You can always take a little extra out, but you can't add to it. Now we're going to reattach our wires to the back side of our USB. Remember that the positive symbol is for the red wire. Black is for the negative. Then we're going to feed the other end through our hole. Then we're going to go and using the nut that we pulled off to mark our hole, we're going to secure the USB to the dash. Last thing with our USB is we're going to take the two pin connector from the light harness that has the fuse on it. And we're going to connect that to the male end two pin from the back side of our USB. You can now reinstall your cup holder. Now we're going to run our tail light connectors to the back of the cart. Remember, the white goes to the driver's side, red to the passenger side. You're going to feed the white right up over the tire well. For the red, we recommend going around the back of the battery pack so that you don't cross over any terminals and feed that to the passenger side. And then last, we're going to leave our two pin connector for a converter here until later. If your cart already has tail lights, you can skip this step. For those that don't, we include templates for the tail lights. Each template has the driver's side or passenger side on it. You'll notice here at the bottom, it says place edge on top of the bumper. So we're going to do that. The other edge says align this edge with bagwell trim. We're going to do that. And then right here, you'll see the contour of the rear body. We're going to match that up with this side. Once it's in place, tape it off. Now using a marking pin, we're going to mark out the inside of the template and then cut it out with our Dremel. We're going to drill a small pilot hole in one of the corners to get started. You want to go to the inside of your line and then test fit the light. If it fits, then you're good to go ahead and attach it. Otherwise, you may need to just keep slowly taking out more and more plastic. Looks like we're good. Now we can remove our template. Now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our harness. Remember, the white connectors go on the driver's side. Now using the supplied screws, we're going to secure the light to the body. We're going to repeat this on the other side. Red plug on the passenger side. Now we're going to show you how to install your converter to the battery pack. We're going to do this on top of the battery pack so that you can see it. We're going to take the converter and the converter harness. First thing you want to do is attach the red wire to your main 48 positive and the black to your main 48 negative. Next, what we're going to do is take our harness with the two pin connector, we're gonna go ahead and plug that into our converter. And the last step is plug our converter in to our harness going to our battery pack. You will notice a small spark. This is perfectly normal. It just means that converter is running and you're hooked up. Now you wanna find a flat hard metal surface to attach the converter to. 
and using a self-tapping screw, secure it. At this point, we can go ahead and secure our loose harness and double check the brake switch to make sure the brake lights are working properly. Once all this is done, you're finished installing your Madjax Ultimate Plus light kit designed for the EasyGo S4.